Hello everyone, welcome to day four of the Peachtober Challenge. So the word for the day is grub. I have to admit, every time I hear the word grub, the image that comes to mind is Timon and Pumbaa from The Lion King singing Hakuna Matata in the jungle. And then Timon breaks open this piece of wood and then he's just grabbing these little buggers and then slurping them down and then licking his fingers. So pretty much that was the image I had while I was working on this illustration. Unlike the previous drawings, I kept this more in the spirit of Inktober by using only black inks. Doing so also helped to create a comic book vibe to the piece, which is what I wanted to go for. For the materials, I used a Japanese sumi brush as well as a Japanese sumi ink. I also used the Platinum Signature brush pen and then the paper is the same paper I've used for the past few drawings which is a Deleter A4 uh, comic manga paper. Later on you'll also see me use uh, screen tones. I used both Deleter as well as uh, another brand called Radical Screen. However, I would suggest you go with the Deleter brand, even though it's a bit more pricey because the quality is just much better. If you're curious to try out these materials for yourself, I'll add some links below for you to check it out. I'll leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the inking process and I'll jump back in once we get to the screen tones.
because I wanted to create a comic book feel to the piece, I decided to add screen tones. Using screen tones for the first time can be a bit tedious, but once you get the hang of it, you can go ahead and do it pretty fast. Using an X-Acto knife to cut your screen tones will give you more precise cuts, but as you can see, you can also use a simple box cutter and you can pretty much achieve similar results. You just need to be a little bit more careful when it comes to cutting smaller areas, but if you're not too precise about things, then it should work out fine. For me, the trickiest part about using screen tones is picking the right pattern uh, or texture to use with the artwork. Also, if it's your first time using screen tones, you can actually ink over it as well as scratch the surface to reveal the white of the paper to serve as highlights. was a lot of fun. I basically just zoned out and worked on everything in one go. Thanks for joining me in this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!